Sagittarius. Hello, welcome back. For those that are new, blah, 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 blah. For those that are new, a little tired today. My apologies. Welcome. Um, I guess we're going to get into it right away. Uh, Nine of Wands is showing up in your current energy. The interesting thing is that this has been showing up in a lot of reads right now. So has the Page of Cups. The word that comes to mind is recoil. So something's gone on where somebody has come forward to say something to you of an emotional nature. So this could be, I get it being smug and it's caused you to pull back in a big way and protect yourself. I almost feel like it was, um, it was kind of shocking to you in some way, but with the hangman, I see that you need to really try to understand what their intentions were and really analyze that. The Queen of Swords and the Three of Wands. This is a desire or a possible desire for you. And what I get from this, the Magician or the Queen of Swords. Let me finish my thought here. With the Queen and what's coming through is the Queen of Swords and the Three of Wands is that you wish you were able to have some type of cutting comeback that stopped them in your track, in their tracks, so that you seemed ahead of them. The Magician, Eight of Wands, and Ten of Swords. It seems like you wish you were the one to deliver that message to end this sort of bullshit. Apologize for the language, but that's what's coming through. Um, when I put down for the possible outcome, we see the Ace of Wands, followed by the King of Wands, or sorry, the Knight of Wands, Two of Wands, and Seven of Wands. You have the opportunity to create a life that you want, where you can decide the paintbrush is yours, and you can put down whatever you would like. This is exciting, but there is a path that you need to choose which way, which things, and I don't mean path as a singular path. You can think of it this way. You can drive down a road and there are many things on each side of the road. So the path isn't limiting. With the seven of wands, this path seems solely for you. Something that just you get to work on. However, when we look to sort of flush this out a little bit, we see the Six of Cups, followed by the Five of Wands, the Star, and the Tower. Now, something from the past may seem well and good, and it has produced some contention. With the star card and the tower, it seems like you wish this would just really fall apart. So maybe whatever this is from the past really wasn't super duper wonderful. What you need to be aware of 
is working on things when you may not really want to. When somebody comes forward to give you something like this Four of Cups, you may be like, you know what? You're working on accepting it when you know that it's not really... You think that there's a different intention behind it. And this is okay. This is okay to feel this way, understand it, and go through it. We have the world, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Coins, and the Ten of Coins. It's almost kind of like standing up for yourself is what I get. The world is like everything is, is kind of coming to an end and it's into a different cycle. So it's like an, a cycle that's ending. It's been successful, but it's been a bit of a freaking grind with the Ten of Wands here. With the Seven of Coins, the future that you're looking for, you're going to start, well, not even that, you're going to have rewards that were based on your effort. And it's the Ten of Coins. So you're looking to the rewards with the effort that you're putting in to the Ten of Coins, which is having that stability and everything that you want despite the feelings of inadequacy. And the sun card shows up. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay, Sagittarius. That's what I have for you today. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.